Dale and I want to welcome you to our home with open arms. This sucks and it's horseshit, but I'm too polite to say anything because I'm a class act. You're making a big mistake. I'm missing the Raiders game. I have to go to the bathroom. I remember when I had my first beer. I remember when I had my first beer. I remember when I had my first beer. Do you even know what that means? I'm gonna punch you in the concussion. It's not my first time at a shrink. Robin Williams and I talked about all this shit before, so. Hey, folks! Still haven't sold that place, huh? That was a nasty murder. Hope you like chili. Always got a pot on. With sauerkraut. I'm sure they got the smell out by now, though. Don't worry, we only shoot our porn films on the weekends. Yeah, they still haven't found that guy's head. We've got a series of underground tunnels that connect, actually, to your house. So we can have cool dinner parties. Did he tell you about the great schools? Boy, it's Dandelion City over here. Every single house here recycles, you know? You only have one earth. Hope the searchlights don't bother you. Because I got a lot of them. We're starting a mommy and me program here across the street. Hey, pregnant lady, you're pretty hot. If you need a doula, let me know. I hope you like boxing, because I'm a pay-per-view fanatic. I'm going to fucking neutralize you. I don't understand English. Yeah, oh, another thing. Shut your mouth really quick. Shut your mouth. Shush, 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 shush up for a second. For a second. Shush up for one second. second. Not, not to be rude, but shush up for a second. Politely shut up. Don't tell me to shut my mouth. I'm a grown well, man, okay? Shush, shush it up. It's going to be good. Okay, shush. Shh. Mom, it's dangerous to meet someone online. Brennan, I didn't meet him online. He could be a sexual predator. Mom, he took me in the bathroom at the wedding. He showed me a picture of his, of his wiener. He had it professionally photographed. Have you ever done it so much you had to put your dick in the freezer? <laughs> Have you ever done it so much in one period of time? <laughs> Last July, I was doing so much fucking. <laughs> Last summer was like my biggest summer for pussy. <laughs> Do you ever cut a fart in a girl's face while you're doing it? <laughs> This one month, I got so much pussy, I had to ice my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, hey, come on in. Hey, welcome. Hi, I'm thank Brandon. you. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Tuxedos. Yeah. <laughs> I love the tuxedos. You guys are like James Bond. <laughs> James yeah, Bond. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> Moonraker? Do I remember Moonraker? I transcribed it by hand. <laughs> remember on the, on the uh, ski lift at the ski resort? Are you kidding me? The chase Dude, scene, moment. he skis on the luge. <laughs> Guy jumps and he goes over the ridge, a big explosion. Roger Moore at his best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like you guys. Let's, uh, what do you got for me? Let's take a look. Let's see what we're doing. Doback. Dale Doback. Uh, <laughs> once you read it, you have to destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mission Impossible, but. Um, good one. Anyway, I'll give you credit for action espionage. Yeah. I'm a little uh, dismayed by your resumes. Remember when we walked in and you, you said, you look like James Bond. Do you remember that? Rick? What? Are you listening to what he said? What? Do you remember when we walked in? When we came no, in? No, I'm sorry. I, guys, I'm just looking over your resumes. I'm not sure that we, we had the right understanding. Um, I'm in a pickle because I like you. But you don't have shit on these resumes. Never say never. Um, so we're a law firm. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> we, um, Remember when he said when we came in, we had the tuxedos on? He's like, you guys are like James Bond. <laughs> I remember it so fondly. <laughs> I'll never forget that. You gave me a laugh. I'm oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? There's nothing we can do. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Hey. Hey. I'm Brennan. I'm Dale. But you have to call me Dragon. You have to call me Nighthawk. I can catch a fly with my bare hand. I like to sleep with the AC set at 68. Four months ago, I had a mustache. Hope you got a bathtub, because I only take baths. I have seven throwing stars. Sunday nights, I watch Big Brother, and that's the law. I program the TiVo. I once valet parked Brett Michaels' car. I once met Dick Buckus. I'm going to come right out and say it. I masturbate a lot, and I make sounds, and you got to deal with it. I can play the drums.
Mr. Giner is ready for your interview. Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. We're here to fuck shit up. Bad cut. <laughs> in some ways, it's even more fun than Talladega because, you know, we're in it together from beginning to end. We really play off each other, um, unlike anyone I've ever worked with before. And now, we'd like to present the world premiere of Prestige Worldwide's first music video by our first act, Huff and D-Back. Everyone, focus on the screen. Go video. Beyond the fact that he's a nice guy and he's my friend, which is, those are the kind of people you always want to work with, I think we have a great creative kind of chemistry together. Dragon! Ah! Yes! Ah! You summoned the power of a dragon. I did. I used all the force of a dragon. Gentlemen, apparently there's been some sort of misunderstanding. We're only looking to fill one position. No, there's no misunderstanding. We deliberately came as a team. Mm -hmm. Now, Mark, I know the business environment has a lot of rules and politics and codes of behavior, but let's just cut through the horse shit. Yeah. We're the real deal. But we come as a fucking team. Absolutely. All right? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Now, do you have the balls to hire us both or not? Mark, this is what you'd call a nad check. Okay? Big time, hairy nad check. You heard of that before? Does that sound familiar? It's a real business term, okay? I don't know if you're familiar with those weighing stations on the side of highways that semis have to pull over for. It's like that, except it's for your balls. Your balls? Yes. You want to talk about balls? Yes. Balls is spending six years on Rikers Island for a crime you didn't commit. It was nasty, it was sweaty, it was dirty. I cut off a man's foot with a screwdriver. I had a prison guard underneath my cot for a month and a half. Only thing gave him away was the smell. I took a nap during the prison riot. I seen naked men in clown masks, covered in blood. My ball's bigger than both of y'all put together. I wasn't trying to get into a whole talk about your, your actual balls. My balls literally weigh four and a half pounds. You want a job? I got a job for you. You take the left one, you take the right one. Why don't you clean and polish these big, beautiful balls? I really was using balls as an expression for courage. The hell, I don't want to. I didn't, okay. Be back up, okay. Mom, what's one thing that you can't talk to me about? My sexual fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I mean, come on. This is horse shit. permanent function it's a waiting game right now we won't know you can lick my balls I did not mean it that way I did not mean it that what way. way did you mean it if that was what you're into <laughs> you could do it majestic wolf lamp and his family this is Galco which is Hebrew for kindness Galco Gal <laughs> What about the pup? The pup is unnamed. Because you can't put a name on the innocence of that face. <laughs> Fuck. Brandon, you need to come on in now. No, I don't want to. Come on inside. Aren't you hungry? Maybe a little. I made chicken nuggets. Really? Yes. What kind? The kind with the crunchy skin. With the dark meat? No, the, the white meat with the crunchy skin. Dinosaur shaped or kidney bean shaped? Brennan, 
open the car door, walk across the street, come inside, and eat like a normal human being. Quit talking to me like I'm a baby, okay? I'm scared and I want chicken nuggies. That's all I fucking want, okay? All right, I'm gonna go inside now, Brennan. Wait, Mom. No, I'm gonna go inside, Brennan. I've had enough. And you're yelling at me. You know how that makes me feel? Makes me feel like an asshole. I'm gonna walk away, Brennan. Now just come on inside. What kind of dipping sauces? Mayonnaise and ketchup. Fancy sauce? Yeah. Mom, I mean, come on. You just come out and you say, we got fancy sauce and boom, it's over. Fine, Brennan, I have fancy sauce. Yeah, that's it, I'm coming, see? Easy as that. Yo, yo. Hey, D-Man. Did you tell him what's up? I sure did. Hey. <laughs> hey. Your brother wants a shot of the Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> Derek, I deserve a chance. What a dick. I had a hell of a month. I closed out the GTI account, right? I did that in two weeks. You guys thought it would take six weeks. You saw what I did to TJ last night at Papa Shot? Shit, you did, man. Made that him cry. Pretty, that was pretty impressive. That was admit. totally amazing. I'm ready. I'm walking tall. I subscribed to Maxim, FHM, and stuff. Uh huh. I've been using Axe body spray huh. over three times a day, sometimes more on weekends. Really? You think you're ready to run with the bulls? I've been earning and burning. Snapping necks and cashing checks. Screw it, let's let him do it. No, it's a win-win for me. Because if you fuck up, Brennan, if you fuck up, yeah. I get to fire your ass. But if you pull it off, I look like a genius to the board. Right. You sure you want to do this, Demon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a win-win, like I said. And I love win-wins. I love win-wins. Because first you win, and then right after that, you fucking win. Yeah. OK? In fact, I want to change my nickname, Win-Win. Let's right. do that right now. That's great. Yep. Win and then win. I love win-win. Look, Brennan, here's the thing. It's the Catalina fucking wine mixer, OK? Ah! What you want is the Catalina wine mixer. Yeah. Right? That's, okay. that's what I dream about. It's the biggest helicopter leasing event in the Western Hemisphere since 1997. Ah! OK? Yeah. You know who played there last year? Take a guess. Someone big, I'm sure. Scritty Politti. Right. <laughs> that's right. That was a Scritty Politti blast to your face. I get it. What win-win yeah. wants Win-win gets. It's the biggest helicopter leasing event in the Western Hemisphere since 1997. Ah! You understand? <laughs> I'm sorry. You've actually seen him eat a man's penis? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, hey, you. You better have some of your world famous cheesecake in there, huh? Oh, I made a peach cobbler. Huh. So we we didn't go see Kenny Chesney so we could come here and eat peach cobbler. So we didn't go to the Dane Cook CD signing. We didn't go see Chris Angel Mind Freak. We didn't go see IMAX Into the Volcano. We didn't stay home and watch Mythbusters. We didn't stay home and watch Best Week Ever. We didn't go see the new Vin Diesel movie so we could come here and, and eat the uh, peach cobbler? What the fuck, Mo? Honey, come on, I want to get over to the Cheesecake Factory so we can have some real food. The Apprentice, season finale, 20 minutes. Spike TV has a marathon of blind date tonight. Come on, I got to get home and oil my jacket. Let's go. What are you having? I'm having ice and mustard. Help yourself, though, because I got a whole tray right here. That was a bad piece of ice. You understand what I'm saying to you right now? I lost my virginity when I was eight years old. I had my nipples removed because I'm not a girl. On my cell phone, I have Chaz Sheen's home, work, and fax number on speed dial. Look, just leave us alone, will ya? I already gave you my PlayStation 3. What more do you want? I'm gonna cut your ass. I'm gonna shove your butt on a wedding cake where you belong. Snitches get stitches. What's that mean? I don't know. I'm seven. I've got a lot on my plate. Don't touch my drums. Well, I'm gonna touch them all right. <laughs> no! I'm gonna bring your drum set out here and play it on top of your grave. I'm gonna dig a hole and bury your drum set right next to you. I'm gonna literally carve a hole in the side of your bass drum and fuck it. First you wouldn't let me join the family business and now this. Oh, I am a fucking medical doctor! That's your language! Except I'm a fucking medical doctor. I am a fucking medical doctor! The medical school, School of Medicine, Dr. Robert Doback. I am a medical doctor! I'm a medical doctor! You're fucking nuts! We are men! Full-grown men! 
and we teach children lessons. I hope you learn what it's like to be a man, asswipe. If you go to the cops, then we go to the cops. That's how it goes. It doesn't seem stable from down here, but I know it is. And that is all she wrote. Yep. <sighs> do you ever watch uh, Rachel Ray, that cooking show? Oh, yeah. Hey, who do you think's gonna win America's Next Top Model this year? Everybody doing okay? Yeah, good to see you. Wine good? Thanks for coming. Hey, Brickhead. Where are my condoms? All right. Me and Narky scored some high quality tail. We're gonna take them up to the clubhouse and do the. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know where. Where are my condoms? condoms? Brendum. I gave you one job. Hold my condoms. You didn't mention anything about condoms. What did I put in your hand? Condoms. Is that what they were? Yeah, yeah. That's what they were. We... Let me break it down for you, all right? Anytime I want, I can take you over to those bushes and lay you down like a lady. You understand me? And sexually dominate you. To my heart's content. For hours. Laughing, pleasure, as much as I want. <laughs> Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> Anytime. Why would you do that here, though? Because I like to drink. Speaking of, give me a vodka. God damn it, where's my knife? Do you have my knife? I gave you that too. You didn't you didn't give me any of those. Give me my knife and my condoms, Brendam! Okay, let me find them. Now! Let me find them. Now! You guys having fun? Derek, someone should teach these kids some manners. Someone should teach you how to keep your trap shut. Some of it might have had. <laughs> you just farted. We had good times. Did, really, did you really just fart? We're not having fun. Did you just fart? No. And you know I'll claim it if I did. You're stuck in a desert island. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite news. Favorite female news. <laughs> you fucking smirker. <laughs> this is impossible. Here we go. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. I remember when I had my first beer. Ah, <laughs> that's so funny. Last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Stop. I have a green belt. Wow. I don't believe in belts. There should be no ranking system for toughness. But one time, we're at the zoo, and a giraffe got loose, and I took it down with my bare hands and wrestled it to the ground for 50 bucks cash. I ripped a phone book in half with my bare hands. But one time, a sucker punched a hippo at the zoo. One time, Teddy Olmeyer shot an arrow at me, and I caught it in mid-flight and threw it back at him, and it went through his shoulder blade. That's not true, Dale. I'm a really good singer. Yes. How good? Outstanding. That's funny you say that, because I can sing, too. Hey. I don't come to your place of work and grab the toilet brush out of your hand. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, guys, let's just relax. I worked at PetSmart. How'd that work out? For, for two months. Mm. Before that, I worked at CVS Pharmacy. No. I manage a baseball team, mm. and I'm looking into raising rabbits for meat. Before that, I worked at Foot Locker for three months. Before that, I worked for Best Buy for two months. Before that, I worked at Honey Baked Hams for three weeks. Mm. I'm trying to get my dad to wrap his mind around llama farming. If I can get an agreement from the racetrack, I'm looking into getting cat racing going. Before that, I worked at Relax Back for two and a half months. Before that, I worked at Barnes & Noble for four months. That was a really good job. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've been working on is um, porno movies that everybody can watch. And also, I won $75 on a scratch-off lottery ticket about a year and a half ago. Before that, I worked at Boston Market for two months. Before that, I worked at Home Depot for four months. Okay, great. Also, I've been developing a, a fan site for the band Creed. Mm -hmm. Before that, I worked at Wahoo Fish Taco at, for nine days. Before that... Stop it! I've also been looking into how to raise rabbits for meat. Sorry, sorry. Do it again. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Throw up. Okay, okay. Don't throw me out the window! Come on! No! No! Say you're sorry! <laughs> Are you li listen to me, guys? Look, look at me. Yes. <laughs> I talked to Jeffrey at the marina. 
The entire hull's compromised. Look, we could bicker all night about the stupid boat. We're gonna fix you know, it. I've got things I'm upset about. I called shotgun in the car, but I didn't bring that up. I want to talk about the future, Dad. We need money for our company. Are you ready to go and write a check? No! First you wouldn't let me join the family business, and now this. I am a fucking medical doctor! This business venture of yours, it's just idiotic. You don't get us, because we're young and hip. You know, I hate to break it to you, but you're both 40. Well, we're on the street day and night, putting in the man hours oh. needed, so we have our finger on the pulse of what the fuck's going down. On the street, what are you talking about? You're a poser! Shut up, Brendan! No, I will not shut up, Mommy. Shush, I'm a poser. Shush. I'm, I'm a poser. Yes! I am a doctor of medicine. You're a hatchet man! Shush, Brendan! And we're shush. artists! Stop we're it. artists! I put a hearing aid in a nine-year-old girl's ear, and she could hear for the very first time. And you two clowns haven't made one note of music. All right, Dad, everybody can hear, OK? We all have two ears. How do you know she's faking? This place is a palace, and my dad is awesome. My dad is 10 times more awesome than your mom. My mom is so much cooler than your dad. And here's one example. For three months, she dated Richard Dawson. When he was on Hogan's Heroes. No. When he hosted Family Feud. That's actually kind of embarrassing. Just think about all those skanks he kissed on that show. That mouth was all over your mom's vagina. Just shut up. You brought it up. You know what? I read in my mom's journal. She said, dear diary, I think I made a mistake. I married a real turd. As soon as I pay off some debts, Brennan and I will leave under the cover of darkness and we'll probably burn down the house with those two losers inside of it. Oh, yeah. I can do an owl call so good that owls want to mate with me. I've got the scratches to prove it. Well, I can use my mind to make myself hard. And then I can use my mind to make it go away. Hold on a second. That's a Dutch oven, Holmes. I can do that at will. Oh, I'm sending it over to you. Oh, come on. Jeez, what did you eat? Mac and cheese with ham. The concentration of methane gets so thick in here sometimes that it actually breaks federal regulations. My God, I'm gonna have to sh throw a shoe through a window. I want you out of this fucking house. Do you hear me? No way. You wanna go to war? Yeah, me with a surface-to-air missile launcher and you with a stick. <laughs> no, more like me with a machine gun that shoots throwing stars and you with your dick in your hand. No, more like me with a nuclear warhead and you with a dick in your mouth. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Not bad. What's the story on the music? OK, well, they're going to take the stage any minute now. Um, it's a group by the name of Uptown Girl. And they're the best Billy Joel of the 80s cover band on the West Coast. Oh, 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 nice. I gotta tell you, I thought you were gonna take a big, thick, high, hard one up the old bunger, you know? Uh -huh. But you're nailing it. You're nailing it. Thanks, Randy. Yeah, that means a lot. Yeah, keep it up, you might get the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, I don't. Um, really? I'm talking about the, all the good stuff, the perks. Oh, okay. The juice, no. cars, ladies, oh, sex, yeah. intercourse. Ah. Okay. Right? God damn it, I don't know what it is about your face, but I want to deliver one of these right in your suck hole. Is there anything I can do to work on that? No, so that you not wouldn't... really. It's your face. Okay. Half the time I want to just, I want to squeeze it. Right. And mold it into something else that's not so whatever that is. The, uh, I mean, has it always been like that? Yes. This is the... driving me fucking nuts. I gotta right. be honest. Yeah. This is the way Can you do friend. anything about that? Can you do anything at I, all? I don't know what you mean. Like, like I don't... plastic surgery? Yeah. I would never do that. Maybe think about it. Just think about a mustache or a full beard. Well, I could grow some facial hair. Put on an eye patch or something. Your fucking face is driving me nuts. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I think about it a lot, and I think about crushing it like a beer can. Yeah, it's disconcerting for me. You know what I mean by that? I, I really don't. It means and, I'm going to attack you in the middle of the night. I'm going to, when you're not, when you get out of your car, or when you're walking to your car, or you've just okay. finished brushing your teeth, and I'm just going to grab your face with both hands, and I'm going to just start shredding it like a phone book, like an animal on a phone book or mm -hmm. on an animal on some sort of soft fruit, like a tomato, and I'm just gonna rip at it until it doesn't look like it does now. Okay. And I, again, you know, you're doing great, man. This is the Catalina Wine, yeah. we're all having a great time, everybody's having fun. You pulled it off, all right? But if you don't change your face, I'm gonna change it for you. Okay. 
Okay. All I can do is take that in and consider it, and I'll just try to do my best version of whatever I think that would be right. to help you with that situation. But I, that seems like a weird and impossible endeavor. I, I don't even hear what you're saying right now because your okay. face is driving me okay. nuts. Thanks again, Noah. I'm going to take this. I'm going to drive it into your temple. <laughs> Prepare yourself for a fight, a fight that's I, coming. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a huge market for opera rap, right? We need to get work. We need to get to work right away. <laughs> Well, Brennan, you certainly have had a lot of jobs. Yes, I have. I've held numerous employment positions. Uh, I think it just shows off the talents that I have that I bring to the game. Mm. And human resources lady. Oh, I... it's, you know, I'm sorry, it's Pam. And uh, for your future interviews, you should try to remember the name of the person who's conducting the interview. Are you saying Pan or Pam? Pam. And who is this gentleman sitting behind you? Yeah, That's. Pam. Who is this gentleman right here, too? Hi. Sorry. I'm, I'm Pam. Me. I'm Dale. Nice to meet you, Pam. Nice to meet um, Pam. Pam. I'm Brennan's stepbrother. I'm here for moral support, and if another job pops open while we're sitting here, guess what? I got my catcher's mitt out, and right. I'm ready to jump in. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Okay. Well, Dale, unfortunately, there isn't another job available. Just you don't know one. that. I, actually, I do. I, I, I work here. Oh, at what Street. if someone just quit down the hall? Uh, wait, here they, I can hear their footsteps. Uh, another look, job. There isn't another position available. Okay. So that's it. Point taken. Um, I, I also would, I think I might be able to help with a Pan-Pam dilemma. Yeah, that'd be great. Pam. Were your parents into Greek mythology? The pipe playing it's, it's, Pan. You know what? Right. Here, let me give you an example. You have a pan, mm -hmm. and if you're cooking, you might spray it with Pam. Like you know the product, Pam. You cook it up in a pan, like it, chicken in a bread pan, picking out dough. No, my name is Pam. 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 With there's an M. There's a D on the end. No, there's no D. It's Pam. Can you just May? Can you oh, spell it out. Mother. It's one of those weird matriculate. Ones like, like, masticate. Can I write, can I write? Will you spell it out for me? Let me. It's like calm. Here, it's P. P A N M. It's Pamela. It's Pan. It's P A M. M. Two M's. M. That was the confusion. No, there's just one M. It's Pam, a woman's name. Pam. What is your last name? Because that might help us. Okay, my last name is Gringe. Gringe. Really? So your name is Pan Gringe. Wow. Huh. It's Pam Gringe. Pan Gringe. One word. One word? Grinch. The Grinch you stole Christmas. No, it's not. It's uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas. My last name is Gringe, like Grange. Are you familiar with the Grinch who stole Christmas? I, I am unfamiliar with the Grinch, but my name is Gringe, which you means... You put antlers on your little dog. <laughs> I don't have a dog. I'm allergic. Panch Grinch. No. It's Pam Gringe. Do your business cards say Panela Gringe? No, my business cards say Pamela Gringe. Gringe. Pamela Gringe. Still, Gringe is weird. Pamela Lady? It's English. These are English words, I'm saying. This actually is from Middle English. I love Lord of the Rings. Middle English from Middle Earth, right? Please leave this office. We're done with this interview. Drop the anchor, give that hoe a shout. Get my coat out, the duck out. Boats and hoes, boats and hoes. I gotta have me my boats and hoes. Brennan. Yeah. Stay frosty, all right? Take a breath right now. Come on, you, get, you need air to do it. Let's go, we're, we're doing it. Excuse me, everyone, if I can have your attention, please. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Dale Doback. I'm Robert's older son, the biological check, one. Check, check, check. Bear with me, I tend to talk a little too loud and a little too fast when I get passionate check, about check, a subject. We got a special surprise for you, Derek, and check, everybody check, here. Check. 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 Check yeah. one. Check. Yep. Um, check. Can you hear us in the back? What the fuck are you doing? Check. 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 Derek, for your birthday, we thought we'd roll out a once-in-a-lifetime business opportunity. Happy birthday, Derek. Okay. Okay. And we prepared a little presentation. Please stop. Please don't do this. <sighs> Music. M Music. That's what it's called. Prestige, worldwide, wide, wide, wide. <laughs> London, <laughs> Tokyo, Zurich, Anaheim, Cairo, Denver, Denver, Denver. Prestige, worldwide. The 
first word in entertainment. First word. President of operations, Dale Doback. Dale Doback, <laughs> drummer deluxe. <laughs> President of talent coordination, Brennan Huff. Be Huff, always having fun, always on the scene. Oh, this is classic. This is fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> Investors? Possibly, Possibly you! you. Oh, Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Fantastic. Geneva. Zurich. Istanbul. The solar system. Denver. But what is prestige worldwide? What is it? You ask yourself? Is that voice in your head? Douchebags. Well, well, let me tell you. Stop it, Derek. It's music. It's music. Featuring musicals, like Les Mis. It's event planning. Catering. All different types of foods. Ranging from Chinese to Mexican. We could have done this party. Management. Financial portfolios. Insurance. Travel schedules. Computers. Itineraries. Answer the phone. Black leather gloves. Security. Security. Patrol cars in your neighborhood at a moment's notice. We'll keep the riffraff away. Numchucks. Let's go to the next one. Go, go to the next one. Personal training. For, forearms and tricep development, specifically. And diet and advisement. Focusing mostly on excellent nutrition. Next slide. Celebrities. Will Smith, Independence Day. Master of a Thousand Voices. Yeah, yeah, Fresh Prince. Hitch. 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 And. And. Special effects. Special effects makeup. You like to have your mind blown? Huh? Go see a show of hands? Who likes to have their mind blown? That's not a real head. Not a real head. It's not a real head. It's not a real triceratops. Brennan painted it. Research and development. We're putting in the man hours to study the science of what you need. Last week, we put, we put liquid paper on a bee. And it died. If there's stuff we don't know about, it is our aim to figure it out in our laboratory. Accredited laboratory. And... Spider-Man! Spider <laughs> <laughs> Favorite web sling. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to admit, it looks exactly like him. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's always time for fun! Oh, oh, Jesus God, I just stopped. Don't. I you took can't. a picture of him taking a shit? Put that in the last second. To mess with the flow a little bit. Break it up a little bit. It's just goofing around. It's just goofing Not around. Not all serious business. It just shows that even though we're working hard for you, we're still going to have fun. I'm thinking about your money even when I'm on the can. Okay, blackout. Blackout. <laughs> Look, you better just go to sleep before the ghosts show up. Shut up. I'm 39 years old. There aren't any ghosts here. My dad didn't tell you. This place was built on an old Indian massacre site. General Custer walks the halls every night. I said shut up. Getting scared, Brennan? Because you should. It's fucking ghosts of Indians that pull their own skin off. Shut up! So basically, I mean, this is it. I mean, we sit here, it's easy. 
I look at these things very practically. I'm just looking to hire guys that I don't mind hanging out with for like 12 hours a day, you know? You guys seem like cool guys. Funny, you got tuxedos on. I get that. It's ironic, you know? We're all around the same size physically, so that is, you know, a plus in my sure. mind. Was that a fart? I don't know. No, he didn't. Pretty sure he just farted. I don't think so. Okay. Um, just creaky balls, I guess. Anyway, uh, if you guys are cool, I think this could work. Just hit this button. You guys are hired. <laughs> Do you want it? Really? <laughs> hired. Welcome to the team. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What are you not sure about? You're hired. When did we start? You started like 40 seconds ago. You're you're on the clock, but you don't have to do anything. So we have to sell everything in this room. No, we don't have to sell any of it. We just have to. Oh, man, IRS is gonna be on my ass now. No. I'm on the fucking government files. Workman's comp. You know all those things. A lot of responsibility. It's no responsibility. See, you sit in a room full of balls all day. See, oh you, man. You don't think about it when you're in the moment. I can't do this. You say yes to something, and it's like a tidal wave. I, I know we agreed to do this, but I don't think I can, Brennan. It's hard to let you down. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to hook you up. This is an easy fucking job. How many days do I get to work from home? No days. I can't do this. There's no telecom. Take me off it. Take me off it. I can't. Do take why, me off it. Why would I take? I gotta you get off out of here. What? Gotta get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! What is he doing? Oh no! Stop! What is happening? Hey! You're not hired! You're not hired! No! No! Okay, you're not hired! No! No! Stop it! Please stop it! No! No! Leave! 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 You did this! You did this! You did this! I didn't do anything! You did this! Security! Two men have gone crazy in my office. They're attempting to wipe their fingerprints okay. off everything. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. They're on camera. You tell anyone about this, we'll fucking kill you. I'm telling the cops right now. I don't see a whole lot of experience. Well, let, let us make some magic. Let us surprise you. Yeah, there's no experience at all, actually. I can walk on my hands for about 15 feet. Do you have anyone in your office that can do that? You're gonna see Creative sandwiches being made for employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, occasionally we might go pick up a dozen bagels. We're gonna get this office into shape through aerobic activity. We're gonna bring in mixtapes into work. Every 15 minutes, we're gonna walk through the halls going, come on, people, let's get some energy going. How about these two words? Taco Thursdays. Tell you what, if you hire Brennan, I will work at half his rate as a spy on Brennan. If he makes any mistakes, or steals anything, or does any weird stuff, I will report back to you as a double agent. It'll be your eyes and ears, and I'm totally fine with that. Get the fuck out of my office. Boom. No way. Limited edition Chewbacca Pez, Pez dispenser? dispenser. And not individual Pez, whole packs. Get out of here. They only made 250 of these in 1979. Come on, man. The eyes follow you around the room. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't do that. That scares me just a little bit. I love you, Chewie. I have to put you back in that drawer now. Sorry. Majestic Wolf Lamp and his family. Look at the craftsmanship on that yeah. thing. They didn't leave it unfinished. They put bark accents on the back. They too. didn't have to do that. They didn't have to. They could have just shipped it off with a bare back, but no, I know that's that's what hooked me. You could walk 360 around that thing. Close your eyes. Feel the back of that. Are you feeling plastic oh or real tree bark? Am I in the black forest of Germany? No. You're just feeling the wolf lamp. Do they have names? Yes, they do. His name is Chancellor, okay? There's a good chance he's half domesticated. This is Galco, which is Hebrew for kindness. What about the pup? The pup is unnamed. You can't put a name on the innocence of that face, can you? Mm-mm. God, so 
You're bringing some high heat now. You understand that I've got to kick it up a notch. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of the small one? No. You haven't heard of the small one? Mm -mm. It's a small box of fireworks you yeah. can buy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the big one. I don't know what to say. You can say that I rule the school on yeah. 4th of July. Yeah, you do. I mean, the stuff I'm cool lighting off mm -hmm. is like Hornet's Nest, mm -hmm. Golden Shower, Rose, Rose Blossom. Right. The bigger stuff, I let my dad do. It says, light fuse and run away for a reason. And I'm just scared I'm not fast enough. Parental supervision means parental supervision. Hey, Dale. It says here you graduated from Cal State Bakersfield uh, with a degree in business administration. Mm -hmm. And then there is a long gap. Excuse me, may I borrow a pen? Uh, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, and then just, just one, sir. Could you put those back? Or you can borrow one, I'm, I'm fine with okay. that. I'll put them uh, back. What if this was my hair? It's not. It's rubber bands. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm concerned there's a long gap in your employment history, and your only uh, reference is from a pan Grinch, which you've handwritten on this resume. I She's a quality that. individual, so you don't need it's to. A, it's a female? She is a female. That would be Pam, then. Okay, right. listen. We're a little fed up. We've been looking for a decent employer all day. We haven't found anyone we find well, worthy. It's, it's hard. Of working for. So what do you say we turn the tables here? And we interview you, just to please, don't so that me. we get a sense of where you're coming. Okay, put your hand down. I, th th that's a great way to get to know each other. Please put your hand down. All right. Yes, that's a uh, sometimes useful exercise. Uh, okay. Go ahead. How much money do you make a year before taxes? Okay, I'm actually not comfortable answering that. Okay. I've had a long day of these interviews. I'm getting <laughs> sick of this shit. I okay. want a straight answer, Craig. Thank you. We're done. My name's not Craig. It's Dave. So, Back Craig, to... Dave, whatever. We're all named something. Sir, you're, you're saying some things that are going a little over the line, so answer Before Come on! Please. What are you, pleading the fifth? How much money do you make? I'm not going to answer that question. What are you hiding? You uh, agreed point. to this fucking interview, so get start talking straight. I, I think we're done here. Thank answer you. the man! I will not answer. You want our blood, sweat, and tears. You want us in here like fucking slaves. The least you can do is answer a question. How much money do you make? And have you ever put an object in your anus? If you don't like the good cop, I guarantee you're not gonna like the bad cop. Okay, don't, don't do that. You like the feel of that? Do you know what that is? Settle down, both of you. Next time I'm gonna hit your face. Look, mash those fucking glasses right in okay, your eyes. Okay, that's it, we're done. You are threatening me now, and I can, I can have you I escorted out of here. I didn't threaten you, I said I'd like to smash those fucking glasses into your eyes. Okay, we're done, thank you, thank you. You're the biggest fucking assholes I've ever met. Why you think we would wanna work here after that kind of talk? After what are you, being nuts? Treated like trash? Well, I'm very sad about that. Now, why don't you fuck off? Hey, by the way, where's my bro Brennan? Uh, uh, Brennan's not feeling well. I hate Uncle Brennan. He doesn't even make 25K a year. <laughs> Kids, <laughs> let's, let's not talk about hey, Uncle hey, Brennan. Hey, 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 Alice, take it easy, take it easy. Okay. This is a real world. Let them express themselves. You're right. Okay? I'm so sorry. Is that okay with you? Let our kids express themselves? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. I swear to God. I mean, what am I going to do with this one? <laughs> so, Dale, you obviously have a very impressive father. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I can't stop. I mean, look at you. Okay, um, Robert. Dale, why do you keep laughing like that? <laughs> because he's funny. So, Dale, what, uh, what do you do? <laughs> um, well... Where, where, where do, what do you want to know? Well, how about with how you earn your primary wage? Uh, okay, I'll tell you what I do. I am a professional body builder and trainer of Show Horses Incorporated. Okay. Mm. And I'm a warlock. Dale's uh, been unemployed for the last 15 years. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad! Fuck you, Dale. Dale. Loser Tiffany. Hunt, he started it and I never mind my children finishing it. Bones, Dave. <laughs> you, you. What a punk. Yeah, you yeah. settled a mouthful right there, buddy. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, you've really been monopolizing this conversation as usual tonight, oh, Derek. I'm sorry, Mom. I'd actually like to hear from Alice. You all right, Alice? Mm, Did you get wonderful. enough to eat? Mm. So what have you been up to lately? Alice? 
So, um, and, and what have you been up to? Uh, hello. How have you, have you been lately? I'm fine. <coughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Anything interesting in your life? No. Oh, my God. My uh, mom could do 100 crunches if she takes the right pills. <laughs> I'm just saying if you're lucky. To have to pardon my mother, she's my real character. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> so much laughter at this table. <laughs> it's a joy. There was till you started talking. That's not funny. Jack. No, I know. It's sick. So, just oh. because bonita fish are big doesn't yeah. mean they yeah. automatically make a trophy. Yeah, come You're still on the bonita fish thing? Please I, come I, back, I, Dale. I, please. Nobody Stop. meant anything by it. Let it go. So sensitive. Do you want to? Got the, uh, got Ted oh Danson's phone number. I got it right here. Please. You told we, me that you would. Should we give so... my call? Yes, please. Yeah. You want to just put him down, and then we can call. Where'd you get the number? <clears throat> I got it. Uh, broken the Marion's trailer, or I just it was unlocked. So oh my God. it's not I a big deal. We're total loud, bud, man. so it's not a big deal. And I think it's going to be worth it. Okay. You reached Ted Danson. We'll see you in a message. Ted Danson, right after me. Hi, uh, Mr. Danson. My name is Catherine Hahn. It's Adam Scott. And, and Adam uh, Scott. We're working on a, a Step Brothers with your wife. And uh, Mary Steenburgen. <sighs> big fan. We have some, uh, okay, we, we have some weird, weird information. I'm not sure how to make Damages sure is it. amazing. We think something might be happening with your wife and uh, this dickhead, Richard Jenkins. I don't know if you heard Please of don't him. Swear for my child. He's a total. Please don't swear in my child. Fuck. What? There's a baby right here. Please don't swear in front of my child. I can't understand a word I'm saying. I have to say that um, body heat was oh, where I God. first started. Sorry. Mr. Danson, I, I'm so sorry to do this on a, on a message, but um, I don't think Cheers we have small was breaks on this, and I, I feel like maybe maybe you should come to the set. I, I don't want to cause any problems between you guys, but we think that they're sleeping together. Okay. Anyway, we've got to get off the phone. Sorry about the kid. I apologize. I'm sorry about the kid. Uh, for this information, it's horrible. She's a really beautiful woman. Um, she really is. But, but you're a beautiful man, so you deserve better. Exactly. That apparently, is, that's she's, all I'm saying. she is a slut. So uh, I'm gonna give. Take it easy. Well, you said. You said I to go wash them. this thing. You said dick on that. Hey. Oh, hey. You work here? Yeah. I'm Jay. Yeah. I'm Mary's okay. hairdresser. Well, good for you. How's where is going? she? Welcome to the set. Hey, where is she? Who? What do you mean, who? Where are they? Where's Mary? Oh. No, not oh. Where is my wife? She, um, I think they all went out to lunch. They're doing this thing where they're all sort of bonding to act as... I'll tell you You're where she tell is, me? but you Fine. need to calm down. Hey! You're going to need to calm hey! down, Ted. You tell Ted. me now. No, you Ted. tell me now. Jenkins, you son of a... Oh, for Christ's sake! Oh, hey! No, we're just... No, it's not, it's not we're just friends! What are you talking about? I, I was teaching her how to play chess! Chess! He doesn't play chess! chess. What do you think, I'm an asshole? Keep going. Huh? No, hey, don't make that call me sign. I'll fucking kill you, David. Hey, David. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, when you set foot in this place, we were all laughing at you behind your back. <laughs> right. I mean, even Derek said, hey, I'm hiring my faggot brother. He's a freak. <laughs> I'm sure he said that. But, uh, hey, I gotta give it up. You hung tough. Thanks, man. <laughs> no. Well, now the shit gets real, my friend. A little thing called the Catalina Wine Mixer. It's our marquee event every year. We get all the heavy hitters coming out, all right? Raytheon, GE, Northrop. So it's serious. So we can tell them about our leasing options on our helicopters, okay? Okay. It's a big deal. It's the fucking Catalina Wine Mixer. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Gavell wants you planning the event. Wow. Really? With my supervision, of course. Oh, that's great. It means I'm gonna be on your ass. I'm gonna be in your jock strap. Okay. In it, okay? Using your balls as a speed bag if you fuck up. Right. I'm supposed to make sure you don't dick the dog on this one. You take a dump, count on Randy wiping your ass. Which would be unnecessary. You wake up in the middle of the night, someone's laying next to you, mm -hmm. spooning with you, chances are it's gonna be me. I hope that doesn't happen. Sometimes I might just be in your house. 
no reason at all. I don't have to justify it to you. So, so there's a chance I, I might come home and, and, and you're going to be inside my house? And I could also take your car sometimes. Okay. This is big. You can spend the rest of your life smoking menthol cigarettes and eating Kobe beef mm -hmm. or jerking off in a fucking bathroom somewhere. I'm sorry, is one of those supposed to be good? God damn it, Brendan. So what do I do? All right, let me break it down for you. First of all, you got to make sure you got enough wine and food for 100 to 120 people. Right. Also, we got to talk about music, all right? That's a big thing. We're going to talk about a live musical act that flat out nails it. Last year, we had Lorraine Abdul. Paula Abdul's mother, she brought it, my friend. Paula Abdul's mother is an entertainer. She brought it. She served it up hot and nasty. <laughs> Fried it up like a Chili's hot plate. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> really? Yeah, she, what are you, retarded? It's the Catalina wine mixer. It's the big leagues. No, I get it. Don't let me catch you slacking. If I catch you slacking, all right, this is Brendan. Yeah. Uh, this is Brendan, this is yeah. me. Hey, uh, hey, you got the uh, papers? I don't know what you're talking about. You shut your fucking mouth! Well, I definitely don't want that. If you're gonna make it through this, man, you gotta have big balls. I'm talking about hairy, thick, veiny, robust balls. A big satchel, right? Chicken skin on the outside of your scrotums and a big, thick root hanging on top of it with a big purple bulbous head on the end of it attached to it and it's one big package glistening and swag with a big thatch of pubic hair on top of it. It's so beautiful. No. Oh. Hey, uh, what's going on? Are you okay? It's a Catalina wine mixer. You nail it or you're gone. Ah! Do you want me to call someone? God. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, hey, Derek. Tom, uh, what's up? How's it going, man? I was just telling your bro here about the thing and he sat there with his pun in his paw, <laughs> drooling like a retard. Yeah, it's a big surprise. He's having a heart attack. You're having a heart attack. What are you, a doctor? Do, do we need to call someone? No, 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 no. Call your mother, maybe. He's fine. I'm fine. I'm on top of my game. It's called commitment. Yeah. It's called aggressive salesmanship. Being a salesman. Two words you should know, motherfucker. Uh, I think we should call an ambulance. No, no, no. Listen, you can't fuck this up, Brennan. OK. All right? It's a Catalina wine mixer. What, he, what he's, unco he's, he's unconscious. Now, I have to sell or lease 85 choppers. <gasps> you good? Hey, Derek. Yeah. What are you doing here, man? Oh, I just walked in. <sighs> Your heart stopped. You you were dead for a second. No, 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 no. Your no. heart? You don't have a heart. It's just yeah. Randy. Did you see my Nana when you came in, D? Oh, no, you seen your grandma again? Did you see her in yeah. her head? Yeah, no, 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 she's not here, buddy. Because you were probably having an out-of-body experience because you died. Okay, this is the Catalina wine mixer, Brennan. Boom. You need big balls for this, man. You need big, purpley, veiny. Well, he already... Actually, yeah, I... Oh, sorry. I told, oh, sorry, I told him that. sorry. I told him that. You demand, Derek. Yeah. Oh, faggot in the room. <laughs> you got served. Hey, TJ. You looking at my cock? Nope. Faggot. Boys, take it easy, TJ. It's all good. It's do or die time, bro. Hear me on that. I'm there for you, and I'm there for you. But honestly, see a doctor, see a specialist, get a stress test, because I'm worried about your heart. <laughs>